So today, I am in a, another, this is like a town. It's a town called uh, Nahod. So Nahod is, uh, uh, this place is, is also in, in the Czech Republic, obviously, but this place is uh, very close to the border between the Czech Republic and uh, Poland. So I don't know which direction, but one thing I know is that this place is very close to Poland. So I'm here today. I want to see, they've got quite a very beautiful things to see here. Uh, this uh, town called Anako, is, uh, the population of the town is about uh, 20,000 people. If you remember, last time we've been, we went to Upice. Upice, the population uh, is about 5,000, 500 to 6,000 people. But here, the population is like um, about 20,000 people, which means that it's more than three times the population of Upice. So from where I can see, this place is really, it's quite bigger. Uh, more things to see, more things to do. Although I'm not sure the amount of things we are able, we are going to be able to see today anyway. I don't know what is open and what is closed. Uh, because today is Sunday, actually, in case you are wondering. So right now I'm in the city center. Uh, I can see some, I can see some things here already. So I'm going to show you around them. Uh, I'm going to go closer later. So, so right here you can see there's a church here. I'm going to find out what the name is. This is a church. There is what seems like a museum in the other direction. I believe that's a museum. So I'm going to just show you around here. Just going to show you around. So, that's the church. Let's just go around and see. I'm trying to find out what the name of the church is. Obviously, sorry to on the internet, but now I forgot what exactly it's called. So now I'm trying to find out the front uh, where the entrance of the church is. I hope I can find it. Okay, that's probably the entrance. So, Look at this man. So this man was a, he was a Czech writer who was born in the year uh, 1924, but then died in the year 2012. So he was a very popular writer in the Czech Republic. So this bus is just uh, in the middle of the city, uh, the center here, as you can see. That's his hut. If you can see there. So the name of the guy is Joseph. The last name is really hard to pronounce, so I'm not going to try to pronounce it. So, yeah. Let's see what else they've got here, actually. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There's a fountain here.
Là, c'est un muséum. So that was the building I was showing you earlier. Not the castle though. I think this is like a museum. So probably let's go closer. Let's go closer. And uh, Let's see, that's the bus of uh, the first uh, Czech, uh, the first president of Czech Republic, Masaryk. I believe this place is named after him. I mean this city center is named after him. Okay. It's like city hall or town hall. <coughs> so, as you can see up there, that's the that's the castle. So I'm going to find out how to get there. Then we are going to see it together. I hope it's open today though. Masarykova na mieste. Which means uh, Masaryk, uh, Masaryk Square, you remember? As I said earlier, Masaryk was the first president of the Czech Republic. So this square is named after him. And um, so now, let's try and climb up the hill to get to where the climbing up the hill now wait I'm gonna show you what it looks like still a very long way to go and that's the castle uh, oh, oh, already tired but let's do it anyway
another view. I'm getting closer now. Closer, closer, closer. That's another view. Looks so beautiful here. Yeah. Love it. So, that's actually the church that we've been to earlier, if you can remember. Very nice view. So, show you around now. So that's the building. That's the building. I'm going to show you around. I believe this building is right from, probably from the 12th century or something like that. But let's see, this seems like the hall. Muju, yako nata chit? Muju? Okay, dobi jeje kuyu. So this is like the hall. That's like the counter where the tickets are sold. Let me see. Oh, actually, 
They say no camera, but the man told me I could uh, come in with my camera actually. So, I'm back outside now, but still within the compound. So what I intend to do is to find out if it's possible to take my camera in and turn the video on, of course. If no, then there is no need because I just wanted to show you all around here. If they say yes, then I'll pay and get in. So, but I strongly believe they might not allow me to take my camera in or to turn on my video actually. I think they won't allow me to do that. If they did, but one, yeah, now I remember. I'm going to show you here, they've got a very beautiful garden. I think it's called a French garden or something like that. French style garden. I don't remember, but it's really very beautiful. So I'm getting right in there. So let me turn the camera on the other side. So you see, see how beautiful it is. Very, very beautiful garden, as you can see. Isn't it beautiful? Whoa, just imagine how beautiful it is. That's the entrance. So beautiful here. What do you think? Isn't it beautiful? Let me go inside. another view. Wait, I'm going to show you around. So, 
let me go find out I'm trying to find out where to where they sell a ticket because I I came in right from the back of the building you know so I need to find out where they sell the tickets and then I'm going to ask them if it's possible to get in there with my camera or not or if they would allow me to video the inside so let me oh I'm actually going outside of the building uh, that's like uh, a hotel I believe somewhere there so I just uh, walked out of the building so let me go back in That's just the outside. So now let me get back in. So, as promised, I'm going to try and take you around the, the forest here, the beautiful forest. So, I don't know, wait, let's show you a little bit. That's still the, the, the center of the town. I hope you can see the beautiful forest. So, I'm going to take you right, let's see. what I'll show you so we're going to go down the hill now so um, in so fortunate I was not able to show you the inside of the castle um, but yeah anyway so let's just go down the hill and see what you're going to find there so I'm going to look for somewhere else to visit. I believe there is a beautiful spa, although the, a small one though, that is also in this town. So I'm going to find out how to get there. Then we are going to, we are going to get there and see. And uh, then probably I'll go back to the, to the center to find out if there is any activities going on there. So I can also show you. And uh, just so I'm going to go down there, you see. Ooh. 
her. That's the castle once again. So I'm back in the, into the town now, so I want to buy something to eat. I'm very hungry. You can see a supermarket down there later. So I'm going to get in there, find something to eat. And drink too, obviously. All right. the supermarket and I, I know you've been wondering what I got for myself but I'm gonna show you first of all I got some coffee got some coffee then I got something else that is quite uh, very common in the Czech Republic which I'm gonna show you also I got a bottle of water got some water then roll it they just uh bread or something like that but it's called roll it in czech uh, in czech language just like that so this is very common in the czech republic and i'm going to show you how it's eaten so with this i got uh it's like um potato salad this is uh, a potato salad so you can see so this is very popular, very common in the Czech Republic. So what does it look like? So as you can see, it contains uh, potatoes, cream, and uh, obviously a couple of other things, some spices or something like that. So I will show you how the Czechs eat this. You see? You just dip it in, in there. Mm. Creamy. I mean... <laughs> You can really imagine what it tastes like. It's like a lot of cream. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what else is in there. It's 
So now, I'm trying to come up with somewhere else we could base it before we call it a day. Um, there is a, a bunker which was constructed during the war. Uh, was it Second World War, First World War? I don't know which one exactly. I understand it's uh, somewhere nearby. Not really nearby, it's quite far, but I probably will be able to go there by uh, on foot or by bus, I don't know, but I'm going to find out how to get there. Uh, but let me first of all finish my lunch. So, this town is very busier than, obviously, than, what, what is it called, Upitze, where I was the other time. Because, as, like I said, this place is far more people. More than three times the population of Upitze. So here is more, far more developed far more bigger from what I can see so so I hope that if you happen to come to the Czech Republic try to have some of this It's quite good. When it comes to the roll it's really nothing special. It's not necessarily thirsty, which I don't mind that it's not thirsty. I don't really mind. But um, it's very common here. So, it's eaten you know, you can eat it with whatever you want. It doesn't necessarily be have to be with uh, uh, the salad. So, I'm done. Bubbly. So, I'm going to go find out how to get to the to the bunker. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure if I'm going to go there or not. But let me first of all find out uh, how distant it is from here. If I happen to find myself there, then I'm going to show you around. Otherwise, see you later. Hi, so welcome back. So it's been like uh, so I'm now closer to the bunker. You remember I told you about the bunker that was uh, built during the World War. So I'm closer to that place now. It took me probably like 30 minutes or more to probably like 30 minutes to go out the way from the city or from the uh, from the center to get here so I uh, the bunker like I said is quite nearby so let's get there and um, we'll see what we are going to find
I was also told that uh, the this spa village is nearby. So if uh, after seeing the bunker, I still have enough time, then I could go to the spa area also, the spa village also to see what's going on there. So that's what I intend to do. And uh, now let me try and find a way to get in. So bunker there. See? So what I intend to do, I'm going to find out if there is a way to get to get in there or not. Uh, right from here, I can't see anyone going in or coming out. So I don't know if it's possible to get in or, or to get in there or not. So but uh, like I said, I'm going to still find out anyway. Um, I do not think it's possible to get into the bunker. But um, let me see. Probably through the other... Maybe I could take the other way to get in there, but... It's not possible. You see? That's from the back. From the back of the bunker. So obviously it's not possible. So I think it's not... Uh, so I think it's closed. So... That's the bunker again right there I'm not sure what these things are I don't know what they do but they are related to the world though but I don't know what they were used for Museum Army. I'm not sure what the chair is, what it stands for, but it just says Army 1918 to 1945. I believe uh, people used to come in here and get in to see what uh, to see the inside, but uh, it appears that's not. Uh, possible anymore that's probably the entrance so what I intend to do now is to find out if it's possible to get to the spa town or spa village which I've been told is nearby. So I'm going to find out if it's possible to go there and I will go there quickly and then go back to the station to go back to my destination. So I just asked some, uh, I spoke to some um, villagers here. They told me right from the bunker to where the, uh, where this uh, village is, is about uh, 500 meters. So, which is quite far and uh, you know, but, I'm almost there already, so as that's I promise that I'm going to try to go there. So let me try and see if I can get there. And uh, hopefully we are going to also see some beautiful things. 
along the way so that it doesn't get so boring to go there so just come with me i hope you're going to enjoy it as well I can see there is a small river here. Let me cross to the other side as well. I'm not sure what the river is called anyway, but um So, um, right at the spa area, I don't know if I'm able to take my camera in there, but I'll show you the direction. So it's right there, as you can see, there are quite a, a good number of people walking around and doing their stuff. So I'm going to try to go closer and see the distance uh, uh, um, people are allowed to go. So just come with me. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm not sure what we are going to see, but uh, let's get there. I can see people dipping their feet into the water and uh, this place has quite a very uh, uh -huh. I can see people dipping their feet into the, as you can see see what they're doing I probably tried that myself So, as you can see, there are people coming here to fetch water. And the belief is that the water here is quite uh, medicinal. And uh, Also around here is a very nice, uh, very nice um, path for hiking. So that's why you can see so many people here with their bicycles, some working on foot. So it's quite a very relaxing place. Very, very nice here. I can see a pond right here. What you? There could be fish in it. As you can see in the background, there are people that think they have uh, fed into the water. So like I said earlier, 
the water is uh, believed to have some healing powers. So that's why people are coming to fetch the water for drinking. So that's why you can see those people with bottles fetching the water. So people drive all the way from very distant places to come here to fetch the water. So I hope you can see them right behind in the background. So that's the Madelazini, this spa that I was talking about. Not really much to see here though. But one thing, I, as you can see, there are people riding their bicycles because uh, it's a really very 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 huge uh, forest here so people come here for hiking to ride their bikes and so on and so forth so I'll be going back to the station now so I hope you enjoy what you saw um, so nearby, like I said earlier, nearby is like uh, the bunker where I, I had been earlier. So from there you could just work to this place. It's not far. So when you come here, you can do a whole lot of other things. Again, if you like to hike, for instance, if you like to just uh, spend some time in the nature, you can do that. Just look around. It's very beautiful around here. The climate is very, very nice. The temperature is nice today. So, so this is a shopping area. Still in the town of Nako. So let me just, uh, just look, walk around and see what's uh,
I'm still on my way going back to the city center where the where the station is but uh, bus train station they are all at the same uh, location so I'm still trying to get back there like I told you it was really it's really a very distant place to go all the way from the city to the bunker and also to this uh, spa area or spa village so it's been a very long work and uh, still a very long uh, way to go so what I'm going to do is that when I get home I'm going to calculate like uh, to be precise the distance between all these places uh, because I did not plan earlier to go to all of these places or I wasn't sure I was going to make it because um, you know in small villages like this or small town like this it's not easy to like transportation is not easy so you have to wait for quite uh, probably an hour for the next bus to arrive so uh, I don't have uh, as much time to waste so I had to go to all of these places on foot and uh, it's worth it though it's worth it and I hope that you enjoyed it as well as I did um, I just wish I was able to take you into the um, into the castle which was the first place that I I visited but as you know it was not possible to take you in there so um, so let's see let's uh, yeah Hi. So, finally, um, I've seen all the places I expected to see. Well, I think uh, the train is uh, arriving. But I'm not using the train anyway, but I, there's a, there's a train station here. So, um, so, we first of all went to the castle. We saw the castle. We went to the, we saw the bunker. We, uh, we saw the this spa, this spa area. So we did a bit of shopping for lunch. So there is not really nothing much to see now. So what I intend to do is um, is to thank you for joining me. You know to see the the town of uh, Marco. I hope you enjoyed it and. Uh, Hopefully next time I'm going to take you around another town. Probably somewhere bigger. I'm not sure yet, or maybe just a castle. Maybe I just go to a castle or museum. Uh, if they don't let us uh, go in with our camera, then I will just take you around just like uh, what I did here. And um, so that's it for today. Thank you for joining me and uh, see you again next time. Bye.